Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024, and we have yet three days left. The countdown is on, guys. Three days left of Celebration 2024. I'm so sad. <laughs> I don't want it to go away. I want it to stay. I want us to be able to get these free products all year round, but of course, that's not possible, right? So, um, celebration has been live since January 4th and it's going to end on Thursday night at midnight. So you have to take advantage of all of the free things and the starter kit deal. I was talking to people yesterday about the starter kit and, um, people were asking me, um, for my link this morning. So I was super excited. I cannot wait to see who joins my ink cited Canadians team. That is the name of my team. Good morning, Marie. Good morning, Sophia. Hi, Bonnie. Good morning. Good morning. We have a bitter cold day here in Calgary, but the sun is shining. I love that. I love that the sun is still shining, even though it's super cold. Tuesday is a massively busy day for me <laughs> in my business, but I always um, do want to go live in the morning with you. It is my kickstart to the day. I love to join you and share something, um, stamping, of course, uh, with exclusive Stampin' Up! products. Um, and today, I've got two things that you're going to be able to get for free. And I'm moving on with my second card of the week for um, featuring kid, the Kidding Around bundle. Oh my goodness, you guys. The suite is called Just Kidding. So yeah, I really think you should grab the entire suite because you're gonna get the paper, the bundle, and the embellishments. Hi, Annie, good morning. Hi, Joyce. Oh, there's that little bubble again with a thumbs up. I haven't seen that for a while. Did you guys see that pop up on the screen? A few weeks back, that was happening a lot. <laughs> and I don't know if it's AI, uh, something with Facebook. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it was a thumbs up. So we'll just go with it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> not much I can do about it. Um, so today, yes, you saw the bubble, Krista? Yeah, so strange, hey? I know some of you join me regularly, probably saw that happen before. And I have no idea, no idea how that stuff goes on. Anyway, we'll just move on with our card today. Uh, today I have a card share for you. I'm casing a person. Uh, her name is Sherry Roth. She's a fellow demonstrator from, I think she's uh, in Edmonton. I know she's in Edmonton, but part of Edmonton is like, um, I don't know, Spruce Grove or not Spruce Grove, but St. Albert. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, she is from Edmonton and she's a fellow demonstrator. Her name is Sherry Roth. And when you become a demonstrator, one of the wonderful things that I enjoy is swapping. So I swap with my team. I swap when I go on events. So swapping just means you make a card. Hi, Joy. Hi, Shelly from Indiana. Um, you make a card and then you make that card multiple times, right? You mass produce that one card. That's typically how swapping works, right? So, um, I swap with a group of Canadian demonstrators every time we get a new catalog and it, it's an exclusive swap. I was invited to be in the swap. So it's a special kind of invite. And, um, anyway, I loved Sherry's card so much that I thought I would case it. Uh, I don't always use uh, case the cards, but uh, that is the intention of swapping is to get ideas from one another, to share ideas. And I always like to give the credit to the um, creator. Now, speaking of swapping and sharing ideas, last week I was featuring the um, Heartfelt Impressions right? Yeah, that was my bundle last week. I prepped those cards yesterday. <laughs> um, and we do a swap with our team where when we get a new catalog, we pick a bundle or a suite and we make a set sampler. And what that is, is five cards from that one bundle. Now I have a lovely team member. Her name is Trudy Mainville and she lives up in Red Deer and she did some fabulous cards. I didn't case them last week, but I want to take some time today and show you Trudy's amazing cards because you're going to love them. So I'm going to show you that at the end of the video here. Hi, Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning. I see your little hand wave. I wonder if AI is going to do anything if I wave my hands. That little bubble was weird. <laughs> okay, let's flip the camera and get started. And I've got this fun card to share with you today. And the two things, um, two more things that you want to add to your your uh, order if you're ordering for celebration today because I think you need these in your collection. 
All right, let's flip the camera and get started. Sorry for the close up. <laughs> I'm just reaching to move things off of my desk. I'm gonna put my coffee down because we don't need that happening today. We don't need coffee all over my desk today. All right, let's flip the camera. Here we go. Good morning, warm hugs. <laughs> yes, Maggie, it's probably really bitter cold in Pitcher, Pincher Creek as well. <laughs> it's cold for sure, but I love the sun. I'm sure you have the sun down there too in Pincher Creek. I love, love, love the fact that we can have bitter cold weather, weather here in Alberta, but we still have blue skies with sun. It really does a lot for my mindset. The sunshine is amazing. Um, it's definitely a mood booster. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're going to flip the camera and get started here. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that blue sky a little bit there in my backyard. Sherwood Park, thank you so much. That is Shmarlene. Uh, Spruce Grove to the west, St. Albert to the north. Thank you for clarifying that. So, yes, my friend Sherry Roth is up there. Um, north of Calgary here. Good morning, France. Good morning, Faylene from Eastern Oregon. Look at this gorgeous paper on my desk, you guys. Like, how can you not look at this paper and smile, right? All of the cute little characters in this paper, and it is free. This paper is one of the free selections only until Thursday night. So imagine, this is free if you place your order before Thursday night. After Thursday night, it's going to be a purchase. You have to buy it, right? So if you live in Canada, go ahead and use my host code. It helps me to get the products to send you for your card kits. I appreciate you all so much. The people that shop with me, I, you know, I can't do this business without you, of course, right? So it is, um, I love doing this. I love joining you live every day. I love prepping the kits for you. I love um, hosting my club. We have a scrapbook club tonight, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love my scrapbook club. I love my card club, my technique club. Oh, what don't I love, right? <laughs> okay. So we're going to take this paper. The first thing we're going to do today, and I didn't get a chance to do this. It was busy morning. I'm going to bring in my paper snips and look at this. I want to show you this. This is nothing to do with today's card, but look at this little cute little keychain. My friend Lisa Althaus, which is another fellow demonstrator that I had the pleasure of meeting because of this amazing experience. She made this for me a while ago and it's been on my scissors for years. I met Lisa and her husband Kevin in Hawaii on my very first incentive trip in February or was it March? It was March of 2009 and anyway Lisa and I have remained really good friends and she made that for me. So anyway, just an aside, but I still wanted to just show you because it just shows like this amazing opportunity has given me oh, so many people, so much joy in my life. And I love to share it. I just love to share it. So the person, the little creature, the critter, the little child, that they're not critters. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Sometimes they can be critters, right? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my scissors to fussy cut this one out right here. The little girl with her glasses and her little dog reminds me of my daughter, Amanda, even though she's a brunette, she always, she has worn glasses since just before she went to kindergarten. And this little girl here reminds me somewhat of her. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to grab my snips. I'm going to come in here and just come down and we're going to snip this little girl around here real quick. Okay, do you like to fussy cut? This is called fussy cutting because we're going to use the snips and what I like to do is just hold the snips in place but move the paper around, okay? So I'm just moving the paper around with my left hand and we're just going to give this little girl a little border, a little white border um, all around her body and her hair and her cute little pigtails. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I love it. Um, and the little dog that she's holding, he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> Even though she's got him in a chokehold, it looks like, you know, sometimes kids, that's how they do that, right? They pick up animals however they want, right? Um, I remember my little sister, Melissa, who is like nine years younger than me. I remember her as a toddler quite vividly. And one time, uh, we always had a Cocker Spaniel in our house, a little, you know, we always had mom loved her Cocker Spaniels and we had a, a new puppy and her name was Keisha. 
And I remember, I remember Melissa picking Keisha up as a puppy, picking her up by her head. So she was just holding her and she came over to me and she's like, hi, Ro. She used to call me Ro. And she had Keisha, you know, just holding her up by her head. And I was like, oh my God, you're going to hurt her. But Keisha was just looking at me with her floppy little ears and just... Anyway, it just, this reminds me of so much, right? <laughs> the little chokehold she's got on her and her cute little glasses. So stinking cute. Okay, so we're going to use this on our card today. I'll just put her over here off to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in thick, basic white cardstock. All right, so let me grab a piece of that thick, basic white. I think uh, someone asked me recently, what is the difference between thick and regular white Thick is like, I don't know the exact exact weight of it in pounds, but it is a lot thicker. I love thick white for my card bases. Um, basically, thick white will stand on your mantle and won't flop down. Whereas um, basic white, I use that strictly for stamping. Sometimes, I can't say strictly, sometimes I do bring it in for, um, for doing card bases, but it's very rare, very rare that I use basic white as a card base. Thick white is my go-to. So I'm lining this up at the four and a quarter inch mark. I'm going to cut it along the long side. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to score it on this, the 11 side at five and a half. So score it in half here. And that's going to be my side opening card like that. Okay. And then we're just going to grab my bone folder, reinforce the score line like that. And we'll put that over here. Let's put her right on top so we don't lose her. And then I'm going to bring in some white. Nope, nope, nope. Pardon me. I'm bringing in black. And we're going to cut some, I just have some scrap basic black that I pulled from my scrap bin. And we're going to cut a piece that is three and one eighth inch by four and one eighth of an inch. So just lining that up on my paper trimmer here. I like 1 8 inch in increments. 1 16 is tricky. <laughs> it's really small, but 1 8 is pretty much doable. I like that. So I'm going to go three inches with my poppy parade, and then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut this one at four inches. So then that gives me a 1 8 of an inch um, uh, border all the way around. I want to give a shout out to um, Annika, yes, from Netherlands that joins us here regularly. Yesterday I was having trouble cutting. And Annika sent me a message and she said, or she commented that there was something in my paper trimmer. And indeed there was, you guys. I went and looked. There was um, a little bit of uh, cardstock in the track. And I want to show you what to do. If you have scrap cardstock, like I just, I just trimmed this one off. You can take your cardstock and stick it into the track and just like go like this and you can get rid of that fuzz. Because you do get some fuzz sometimes in there. And I'm, I'm actually bringing some up here right now. So just use, make sure you keep your track of your cutting of your trimmer nice and clean. That will help you. I did change my blade, but um, yeah, sometimes you don't have to change your blade. It's just simply you've got some little bits of cardstock in there. Okay, so while I've got my trimmer out, I do need another piece of cardstock, basic white that measures seven eighths of an inch in height. So I'm just grabbing my scrap bin here. I've just got this bin, uh, not bin, but just this little container full of scraps. And it's just gonna be seven eighths of an inch. So let's grab a piece of scrap here and we'll put that in the trimmer right there. There we go, seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so we just need a scrap to stamp our greeting on. So there we've got that. All right, so we're doing good here. Okay, I wanna show you something that you can get with Celebration for free. In addition to the paper that I really think you should grab before Thursday night because, you know, as I mentioned, um, it just dropped something. <laughs> okay, something just fell off my desk. All right, let's reach for that. Um, on Thursday night, everything, that's when celebration ends. I know, so sad. But there are items that you can get for free. The extra items, okay? So Stampin' Up! on February 1st, they gave us more to celebrate. So on this paper that I'm holding here is the Just Kidding 12 by 12 paper. You want to jot this down because this is the code for free, okay? 165712 to get your paper for free. And then I'm, today I'm going to bring in the Stripes and Splatter 
3D embossing folders. Oh my goodness. These are from the annual catalog, you guys, and this is what they look like. You can get these for free with a $60 order, and they are amazing. So you get the stripes and you get the splatters, okay? And this is such a, these are great little impressions for any kind of background. You could use this on scrapbooking, card making. I absolutely love these. So let's take this one and we're going to pop our poppy parade in here and we're going to emboss this. All right. So we're going to just bring over my machine and we're going to run this through. So for embossing, and this is three-dimensional embossing. So for three-dimensional embossing, don't forget you need your platform number four, your plate number four as the top. And then you want to put your spine in first. So there's the spine. Don't put the open end in. Put the spine in because it hits the wheels and then the pressure will come out the open end. Okay. So then we're going to put our number four on and we're going to roll it through. Rolling, rolling. Okay. Let's see how this amazing texture looks. Open her up. Look at that. That is the splatters, you guys. Look how fun that is. I love it. So there's our splatters. All right. And you also get the stripes. So both of those are a must have in your collection. One more thing while I've got my stamp and cut and emboss machine out, I'm going to put the platforms back on. So I'm putting number one on number two on because we're going to do some cutting and then I'm going to put my number three on my cutting platform and we're going to bring in some vellum okay and the stylish shapes dies these ones right here and we're going to grab this circle die we're going to cut a piece of vellum okay so this will come if you order with me this week you will get this vellum already cut I'm wondering if my piece of vellum is big enough. Let's flip that over. Ooh, it's not quite, not quite. Okay, let's see if I got a bigger piece here. Ooh, that one's a bit better. Okay, so sometimes I do get a better success rate when I put my blade on my platform pointing up and then I lay whatever it is I'm cutting. In this case, I'm cutting vellum. If I place the vellum on top like that, I do get a better cut. Um, especially with detailed dies, or if you're a fan of cutting multiple dies at once, multiple pieces of cardstock, um, you can do that. You can put your blade pointing up and try that out and see if you can get uh, a better a better result. Okay, so there's my circle vellum with the stitching all the way around. I love it. All right, so we'll put that back, and now we're going to put this together. So let's move my machine out of the way. Hello, Faileen Mays. Thank you for joining us from Oregon, Eastern Oregon. Oregon is such a beautiful spot. Oh my goodness. We went there on a road trip one time, my whole entire family. We went and it was so much fun. My son, Andrew, loves antique stores. And we had my husband plan that trip out to a T. He had Oh my gosh, he had a spreadsheet done for where we were staying and what we were going to do. We did 17 days. <laughs> we left Calgary and we drove across BC. We went down into Washington. Um, we went, to, my son was in Kelowna, so we had to go pick him up. He was at a friend's house and uh, we went down through Washington. I remember our first stop was Astoria. Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful in Astoria. And then we proceeded down the coast. Oh my gosh, it was a dream, that trip. But the reason I mentioned my son Andrew is because he loves antique shops and Oregon has some of the most amazing, amazing antique shops I've ever seen. And we couldn't get Andrew to come out. He he was just graduating grade 12, like finishing high school. And I had no idea he had this love of uh, vintage and like old stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, he could, we couldn't get him out of the antique stores. And he still says to this day, I'm going back. I'm going back because we had, my husband had a, a strict plan, right? Okay, we're staying here. The next day we have this many hours to explore, but it didn't work for Andrew. He wanted to do more. <laughs> So he still says he's going to go back and redo that trip and go into those stores and really spend a lot of time antiquing, right? Okay, sorry, I'm getting totally off track. <laughs> back to the card. Okay, so we've got this layer here. You see what I did? I put the poppy parade on the black. It just makes it pop a whole lot more. This is going on the middle of my card. Easy peasy, like that. Okay, 
And then we're gonna bring in that vellum and we're gonna put that down on here. We're just, I'm just trying to find the front. There is a front and a back when you, when you cut things. So the back you can see, well, if you have it close up, when you get your kit, you'll see there is a definite front where the, the little circles of the stitching or the little uh, opening of the stitching goes down whereas the back side it comes up that big, I'm probably that probably makes no sense but um, there is a front and a back okay so I just put glue the liquid glue right in the middle of this piece of vellum because you're gonna see that if I left the card like that you would be like oh my gosh that looks terrible right you can see the glue but we're gonna put this little girl right over top of that so I'm not worried too much okay and we need to stamp our greeting. So let's bring in our little piece of white and our stamp set. I love it. I love, love, love this stamp set. Kidding around. We're gonna stamp it's your birthday again today because you know, you can never have too many birthday cards. Okay, so we've got it's your birthday. I'm gonna grab a block. We're gonna grab black memento ink. And we're gonna stamp that on here. I wonder how many cards could you make from one pack of DSP if you were to sit down and fussy cut all of those images out. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun to know how many and how many cards could you make with all the different uh, children. <laughs> okay, so oh, that's not very dark. Okay, so I need to re-ink my memento. So let's see, tap, tap, tap a few more times. We're going to flip it over. When in doubt, flip it over. Try one more time and that's better okay i like that better all right so let's put the lid on this always store your memento upside down so that the ink is at the surface of your ink pad okay so we've got this and now i've got ink on my phone and i just oh my goodness let's grab a baby wipe let's get this off and my neighbor's dog is barking i don't know if you can hear him um they got a new dog i think <laughs> And that dog looks, likes to bark. Okay, so we're going to come in here with the snips. And I'm just going to do a simple angle cut like that. And then this is going to go right on top like so. But look at that. I think I'm, I'm going to be lucky and I'm going to be able to trim out my little fingerprint there. So this goes on here. And we're going to put this on with dimensionals yes dimensionals let's grab some dimensionals okay so we're put one there and one over here and we're gonna put this down across I did I use quite a bit of glue I didn't really need to use that much glue you guys like you guys know the liquid glue sticks really really well okay so now she's gonna go oh, just right there and look at that she's just gonna cover up my glue Whoo! that's that's a good one okay before I put her down because we're making the card exactly as Sherry made it so before I put her down I'm going to bring in my Baker's twine essentials pack this twine is amazing I love that they did this they came out with the twine and you get it in vanilla white oh this is a this is a not a full pack I must have uh, combined some colors you also get like let me see if I have a full pack to show you what they look like do I have a full pack yes this is a full pack that's a partial pack um, we're gonna just I'll show you so you get all five colors in the essentials pack so obviously I have used up the grayish color one and the crumb cake color one and this package that I have here has black vanilla and white but all I need is a piece of black so let's grab some black and I'm just going to Let's see, we're gonna put it on the back of the little girl. But what I like to do is make a bow. If you make a bow, so I'm gonna make a single bow, so two bunny ears. Um, we're not making a little bow like to look like a bow, but I just wanna make some loops and I find this is a great option. So then you can just put that down like that, snip off the ends, let's snip. Okay, so then if we put this behind the little girl, there, we've got some loop-de-loops going on. And you can turn it around like this. I like that. And we're going to just add a little bit of tear and tape. 
And where's my tear and tape? Okay, here we go. Tear and tape to the back of our little girl here. And we're gonna just bring in my take your pick tool. You can burnish with the take your pick tool and use the sharp end to pick it up, pick up the backing. And then let's see, how do I want this to go? Yes, just like that, just some little loops behind. And then she's gonna go right here. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so to anchor this down properly, I want it to I already have a dimensional on my greeting. So let's put a dimensional right up here and one right here to see if we can cover that up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and I'm gonna put a third one right at the bottom of the greeting down here. And you can use your snips and you can cut your dimensionals in half if you have to, to make small ones. I mean, we do sell small dimensionals, mini dimensionals, but you can make your own minis if you have big ones, right? Okay, so we're going to take the little girl and we're going to put her down here on top of my dimensionals. <laughs> she just makes me smile. And now you can just trim off your ends however you want it to be. So it's just pulling that black color in and just makes it pop. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna grab some bling from, I'm bringing in adhesive back sparkle gems. They have black gems that are awesome. And mine are kind of all over the place because I have used these so much. Love, love, love them. So we're gonna use a big one and a small black one. And I got, I got a, an excess of gold here. So I'm going to have to design some projects with gold. Okay, how are we going to put these on? We're going to use our take your pick tool. And we're going to pick up a big one. And we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to grab a small one. And we're going to put it right there beside it. Look at that. How easy is that, right? Okay, so I'll bring in Sherry's card. Here's Sherry's card. I cased it exactly, you guys. I loved it so, so much. It's so stinking cute. And the inside, so for swap cards, we don't typically um, stamp the inside. We put a sticky note on the back and then we, um, we put it in a plastic envelope. However, for this one, I do like to stamp the inside. So I'm going to pull in my stamp set and see it's your birthday. So what are we going to put on the inside? Uh, yesterday I made a birthday card and I said, you sparkle every day. How about we do your amazing today? Okay, so we'll grab your amazing. And there's some other images you can pull in here. You could stamp any of these images down in the corner of the inside. You could use some designer series paper in the inside. I really like the stars. They add a nice little pop of, of color. So let's do You Are Amazing. And I'll grab the little stars. And how about we pull in some Poppy Parade ink? Okay, so Poppy Parade. And that memento that I need to re-ink when my video is over. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tap, tap, tap a few times here. Make sure we get it nice and juicy. And then we'll open this up. Let's move that up here for a second. Okay, you are amazing. Yes, you are. Boom. Stamp it, hold it for a second. There we go. And let's move the ink pad out of the way. Let's bring back Poppy Parade and we'll do some little stars. Let's do them like this. You are amazing. Yes, love it. Okay, so there we have it, my friends. A cute, simple card inspired by my friend Sherry. I had to make it exactly because it was so adorable. I hope you like this one. I hope you love the um, stripes and splatters embossing folder, the paper, all of it is free and time, my friends, is running out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see, I'm just gonna flip you back around. I hope you, if you had questions, I will go back and check them. Thank you so much for being here with me today. It's Tuesday, um, such a great, beautiful, sunny day here. I'm super excited about celebration. I'm super excited to see who is going to join my team this week before the celebration promotion's over. Even after celebration, you'll still hear me talk about the starter kit because the starter kit is always the best deal. And my friends, there are no strings attached, so why wouldn't you, right? Get your glass mat studio for free, free, free. <laughs> like even after celebration's over, it may become available to demonstrators. And I paid 82.50 for mine 
I mean, I wish I could have gotten mine for free, right? I get my discount, my demonstrator discount from it, but free is better than a discount, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, take care. Have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. I hope I inspired you with my inspirational card from uh, the fabulous Sherry Roth. And uh, I hope you can make, you can use this as a sketch and change it, right? This could make an awesome uh, card using different supplies as well. Oh, I did not forget. Let me flip you back around. I almost forgot. I'm going to show you my friend Trudy's cards from the um, bundle that I featured last week. Let's flip back around. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to be flipping you back and forth, but I did promise you that I would share Trudy's cards with you. Our amazing team member from Red Deer, Trudy Mainville. And she shared, she uh, did these swap cards and she knocked it out of the park with these. So this is from my bundle last week. The Let me grab it and show you. Thoughtful. I just had to step back to my wall there. Thoughtful Expressions, um, Stamps and Dies, a wonderful bundle. Another one that you should put in your starter kit today. Absolutely. And must have, in my opinion. So Trudy made these cards. Check it out. Here's the first one. It's kind of like a fun fold. I love what she did here with the DSP on the inside and the outside. She's done layers from those dies and look at the greeting. She stamped the background. So beautiful, right? So Trudy, if you're watching, I loved your set sampler cards and they are so amazing. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna line these up here and keep going. Check out this one. She used the dies to create a window beautiful and then she put designer series paper here from the poetic expressions oh my gosh and then she brought in some of the wild wheat ribbon and put behind the greeting aren't these stunning cards and she even did the inside with designer series paper wow trudy you are so talented my friend and check out this one she's done some embossing she's put the dsp on here and then she embossed it it's so fabulous with the the bubble bath and the wild wheat together and the bubble bath card base and she's used those flowers with the centers oh my gosh so beautiful i love this one check this one out she used the celebration stamp set that you definitely want to have in your collection she also brought in this amazing embossing folder and she put white uh, pigment ink over top to make those flowers pop even more i know i saw that little um, surprise face this one is stunning right absolutely stunning and she used those same glitter glitter sparkle gems that i use today she used the silver ones right because so you get black silver and gold isn't this fabulous so amazing that's the fourth card so we have to make five when we do our set sampler swaps and look at this one. She did this amazing pleat fold on both sides of the designer series paper, used more of the dies, the stamps, and then she took the Moody Mauve ribbon and wrapped it around like such stunning, stunning card. And then some more of the, that designer series paper on the inside. Oh my goodness. This is a definite perk of being on, the, on my team. When we do these things together as a team, it is such a fun activity, you guys. It is so much fun to get these happy packages in the mail with five cards ready to go using that bundle. So I just wanted to share these and give a shout out to my friend Trudy, our team member Trudy and friend, and she is so talented. So thank you for letting me share. Didn't she do a great job? I see all your hearts. And I don't know if Trudy is here today with me live, but maybe she'll watch the replay. Um, so I just want to say thank you to Trudy for giving me all these fantastic ideas and for being so, such a great team member and supporting all of the activities we do together as a team. All right, <laughs> now I'm going to go and head out and get on to the rest of my day. I've got designing to do. Um, I have a meeting with Rhonda Wade, Zoom meeting. I love when she joins uh, with us on Zoom every Tuesday. I do a team update with my team on Tuesdays. And we have scrapbook club tonight. So Zoom for scrapbooking later today. So busy day, but I'm looking forward to all of it. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic day. 
If you want to join my team or you want to place an order and you're having trouble, please reach out to me. I am never too busy to help you. Take care and I'll see you again tomorrow morning at 9 Mountain Time for my next video, my number three card, using the Kidding Around bundle. Take care. Bye-bye.